I think my uh, ultimate dream is to build an amusement park um, in Nigeria, and just creating jobs and creating uh, just a fun um, lifestyle for, for my cousins. I think that's, that's my ultimate dream. What if a helmet revealed the human underneath it? With questions that peel back the layers of an athlete's true self. Revealing who they are and who they hope to become, uninterrupted. This is The Glass Helmet Experience. Okay. This is a vibe for real, for real. Now this is smooth. Glass helmet. This does seem like a little therapy session spot, for real. Let me get right here. Ah. Let's see. Put the helmet on. But. Who are you? Man, I'm Mitchell Agude, you know? Uh, I'm a God-fearing man. I'm an athlete. I'm a, a gamer. I'm a friend. I'm a son. I'm a brother. Time to take that mid off. Who are you without that helmet on? Not just a football player. I'm the youngest of five. I'm a loving, caring person. I like to joke around. Sometimes people call me goofy when, even if my uh, if I got a serious face on, but I'm just a guy that people can lean on. Really, I really care about the world more than sometimes I even care about myself. What drives you? What drives me is my family. I went back to Nigeria actually 2019 because my mom does medical missions, and I seen how people were actually struggling. Just seeing that really, you know, put a fire into me. And what really drives me is is seeing my family, seeing all they uh, all they've been through, their struggle, and making sure that they never they can never go back to that, and and also help my um, my outside family so they can live the lives that they they deserve as well. How did football first come into your life? When I was uh, nine years old, I fell in a coma going to a skate park. And um, uh, obviously my parents, everyone was scared. The doctor said I was gonna be a vegetable. I'll just be really on a cord. But um, through my uh, parents' faith, they just kept on praying and praying. I woke back up. When I came back home, my brother just started playing football. Everything he did, I wanted to do. And then ever since then, I've just been, been playing ball. So who did you want to become? Back then, I didn't really know, actually. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I found out I want to be who my mom is right now to their family. Because my mom's the person that, you know, she goes back home and she does all the, all her medical missions. She takes care of the family. She brings uh, some of, uh, some of my uncles and, and aunts back to America. I want to be the person that provides. Tell me about your bracelet. What meaning does it hold? So my bracelet, it's really just a reminder of my faith, a reminder of everything that I've been through, me being alive. Like, I I give every all the glory to God. So even when my mom and my dad uh, seen me in that hospital bed, they never, they never wa uh, wavered. They always kept their faith. And, and I came back. All right, walk to the table. How did visiting Nigeria help you understand yourself and the world around you? It really opened my eye, seeing how blessed we are, you know, to live the life we live here in America made me like be very grateful. Just being able to not question if the lights are gonna turn off, not question where uh, if you can get a drink of water, not question uh, if my water's gonna be hot. I gotta make sure that, you know, I never forget that. 
and I won't, I won't forget that because I think my whole purpose really is to, you know, is to take care of my, my family. So, all right, so what are your dreams beyond football? I think my uh, ultimate dream is to build an amusement park um, in Nigeria, creating jobs and creating uh, just a fun um, lifestyle for, for my cousins. I think that's, that's my ultimate dream. Look into the mirror behind you. Who is that man in the mirror today? When I look in the mirror, I see a fresh young, young uh, wire in. You know, shout out to the Migos, RP Tate. The man in the mirror, I mean, same as yesterday, God-fearing man, hard worker. Um, I see a man that's driven. I see a man that never gives up. He's very empathetic, cares about a lot of things. Um, even if I got a straight face on, that's, that's, that's who he is today. Okay, who's that man in the future? What have you built for yourself? God willingly, a man that's taking care of his family, a man that has built businesses, a Super Bowl champion, a man that um, has built a, a whole amusement park, even when people laughed at it for his family, for the people of Nigeria. What message do you want to leave for the future you? All right, future Mitch, uh, you know, let's keep, keep fighting, keep going, never quit. Always be yourself. Don't let any, any doubt creep into your mind. You're God's son, and no one can go against you when God's with you. <laughs>